A majestic and fantastic greeting once again, mga kamapalya. It's me again, Teacher Eugene of Eugene Warailan Channel. Welcome back to Kamapalya TV, a home for Mapinians. This video will help you recognize the differences and uniqueness of art styles and techniques of the Western classical. And to achieve this, take time in reading your modules and listening attentively while watching my video. Follow the directions of instructions of every exercises and activities diligently. And of course, answer all the given tests and exercise with all honesty. Ngayon, isa na namang paksa ang ating tatalakayin at pag-aaralan. Kunin ang iyong mga modules or learning activity sheets sa Arts Night. First is the pre-assessment. What do you know? Ano ang nalalaman mo? Hanapin sa mga litrato ito kung aling panahon sila nabibilang. If you can still remember at napanood ninyo ang unang laksya natin all about the Western Classical Art Traditions, inyong sinagutan ang pagtatasa at pagsusuri sa mga litratong ito at kung aling panahon sila nababagay. Natatandaan niyo pa ba? Tulad ng prehistoric era, which painting belong to the prehistoric era? Letter F, Cave of Lascaux. And letter E, which is the Venus of Wellendorf. Alin naman ang nabibilang sa Egyptian period? Letter G, Hieroglyphics. How about the Greek era? It's letter H, Calyx Crater. Ano naman ang sa Roman era? It's letter D, Aphrodite. Alin naman sa mga larawang ito ang nabibilang sa Byzantine? Letter C, Enthroned Madonna and the Child. How about for Romanesque era? Letter B, The Morgan Leaf. At alin naman ang sa Gothic era? Letter A, Rose Window. Nasagutan niyo ba yun? Sir, yes, sir! Magaling. Dumako naman tayo sa kung ano ang dapat ninyong malaman. What you need to know. Sagutin lamang ang bawat pahayag kung ito ay fact or bluff. Fact kung ang bawat pahayag ay makatotohanan at bluff kung ang bawat pahayag ay hindi makatotohanan. Handa na ba kayo mga kamapalyas? Let's start! Number 1. Hieroglyphics shows trace of Arabized influence in arts. Is it a fact or bluff? Bluff. Because hieroglyphic shows Egyptian culture and not Arabized. Number 2. Stained glass windows belong to Byzantine period. Is it a fact or bluff? Bluff because stained glass windows belong to and created during the Gothic era. Number three, in Byzantine, animals were used as symbols. Is it a fact or bluff? Yes, it's a fact. Number four, Hagia Sophia means Holy Vestal. Is it a fact or bluff? It is a fact. Number five, doorway of Romanist churches are often designed with pointed arcs. Is it a fact or bluff? Bluff, because Romanist churches 
incorporates semicircular arches for windows and doorways. To fully understand our lesson for today, listen attentively while watching, for I will discuss to you about the artworks guided by techniques and styles of Western classical art traditions. Module 2, Lesson 2. Prehistoric era includes all human existence before emergency of writing. Its paintings were found inside caves and are used as a way of communication. Sculptures of prehistoric era vary according to region and locality. Frequently carving may have mythological or religious significance. And its architectures are made up of huge stone blocks intended for buried. These big rock are called megaliths. The three main types of megalith stones are minhir, dolmens, and cromlech. Egyptian paintings were highly stylized, symbolic, and show profile view of an animal or a person. Egyptian era sculptures include symbolic elements such as forms, hieroglyphics, relative size, location, materials, color, actions, and gestures were widely used. Most common materials used were wood, ivory, and stones. Its architecture has thick sloping walls with few openings for stability. All walls, columns, and piers are covered with hieroglyphics. Ornamentations were symbolic. Temples were aligned with astronomically significant events like solstices and equinox with precise measurements. Classical Greek era most commonly found in vase, panels, and tomb. It depicts natural figures, subject were battle scenes, mythological figures, and everyday scenes. The most common method used in painting were fresco and encaustic. Sculptures were tins and stiff body were hidden within enfolding robes. Architectures such as temples consisted of a central shrine or room in an aisle surrounded by a row of columns. Buildings were designed in one of the three architectural style or order. Roman era's most painting were copied from Hellenic Greek paintings. Fresco techniques was used in brightly colored backgrounds such as the division of the wall into a multiple rectangular areas, the tic-tac-toe design, and multi-point perspective and tram line effect. Mosaic is an art process where an image is created using an assemblage of small pieces of colored glass, stones, or other materials. It is used for decorative art or interior decorations among Roman. Roman sculptures were made of monumental terracotta, they produced reliefs in the great Roman triumphal columns with continuous narrative reliefs around. Architecture consists of sturdy stone structures both for use and to perpetuate their glory. Emperors erected huge halls and arenas for public games, baths, and possession. In Byzantine era, Greek and Rome styles of painting lived on, but this time for Christian subjects. Greek and Oriental styles blended together. Imposing images were adorned the churches in large and small forms. Sculptures' dominant theme were usually religious, everyday life scenes, and motif from nature. Architecture has a lot in common with early Christian architecture. Hagia Sophia, meaning hollow wisdom, narrates how a magnificent construction transformed from being a church into a mosque and enter a museum. Romanesque painting were usually Mesoravic influence, meaning elongated oval faces, large staring eyes and long noses, figures against flat colored bands and heavy outlining. Sculptures famous pieces are reliquaries, altar frontals, crucifixes and devotional images. Small works made of costly materials for royal and aristocratic patrons. Architectures usually for churches have grand sculpted doorways and portals. Wood or metal doors are surrounded by elaborate stone sculptures arranged in zones to fit architectural elements. 
Gothic era paintings includes stained glass windows which was created to transform the vast stone interior with warp and glowing color and at the same time to instruct questions on their feet. Sculptures of greater freedom of style, it has no longer lay against walls but began to project outward. Figures are more lively and realistic. Gothic architectural design includes two new devices, pointed arc which enabled boulders to construct much higher ceiling vaults and stone vaulting worn on a network of stone ribs supported by piers and clustered pillars. To test your skill or performance, let's have this activity called Artwork Galore. Find member or classmates in your respective barangays of at least three members per group. Pero kung mag-isa lang kayo sa iyong barangay, maaari ang kasama sa bahay ang maging kapareha o kasama sa paggawa ng gawain. Bawat grupo ay lilikha ng sining ayon sa kanilang pagkakaunawa sa mga sumusunod. First is Rack My World. Form or mount anything using pointed edge rack. Pagsamasamahin ang matutulis na bato hanggat makagawa ng isang disenyo o forma. Pangalawa, Cyclidic Gloss. Paint any shape of gloss by combining any five colors. You are free to make any design of your choice. Then the third one, Birthday Card. Make a birthday card and a collage form by assembling pictures cut from any magazines. Be creative. And number four, soap sculpture. Make a sculpture out of soup. Make any design of your choice and do curve it. Preferably, use burlap soap. Pagkatapos ng gawain, ay kuna ng litrato ang nagawang proyekto kasama ng bawat miyembro. Then, i-upload ito sa mga pinayin official Llorente NHS FB Group. At narito ang iyong magiging gabay sa pagmamarga. First is composition and design. It shows the theme and motif of the prehistoric. Next, process. If you're able to follow the instruction and doing the activity. Maintains cleanliness while working in the area. Then, the materials used. If you have used the proper material, and tools prescribed in the activity. And then behavior. Establish good relationship with classmates while doing the activity. And most importantly, you have shows enjoyment while doing the activity. Number five is the overall look of the activity. Shows the overall characteristics of the prehistoric. Let us have this next activity. Got it? Compare it. Compare and contrast painting, sculpture, and architecture of the different art periods using the following indicators. First column is the name of artwork. May it be painting, sculpture, or architecture. Then the period and era it was created. Next column is the material used. The next column is the use of elements of art and the distinct characteristics of each artwork. Number one is Cave of Lascaux, a painting of prehistoric era. The materials used are hand stencils and hand prints. It consists only of basic colors and correct in proportion. Characteristics is represented in caves painted used as communication. Next picture is Pharaoh Minkari and his queen, a sculpture of ancient Egypt. It is a single block of stones and follows horizontal perspective. Portraits presented in rigid posture, simple and yet powerful show of private emotion. Third picture is Parthenon, the architecture of Greek. It is a massive foundation where made of limestone and columns were marble. It combines of elements of Doric and Ionic orders. So the distinct characteristics, it ingeniously engineered with peripteral octastyle Doric temple with Ionic features. 
Next picture is Pyramid of Giza, an architecture of ancient Egypt. It is carved out from limestone and granite. It is a true pyramid, the largest, most massive eight-sided pyramid on the planet. And then the last one is Dolmens, an architecture of prehistoric era. It is a massive slab of rock and use of supporting stones serves as grave or as an altar. The key characteristic is the use of enormous capstone. Now let's have the post assessment to test if we have fully understand our lesson for today. Set A. Identify what part period the following being described. Write your answer on the space provided. Number one, the paintings were found inside the caves. The answer is prehistoric. Number two, the emphasis of their art depicts the importance of life after death. The answer is ancient Egypt. Number three, their sculptures choose perfect human anatomy and proportions. The answer is Greek classical. Number four, they developed a form of architecture based on megaliths. The answer is prehistoric. Number five, Temples were designed in one of the three architectural styles or orders. The answer is Greek classical. Number six. In this period, emperor erected a huge halls and arenas for public games, bots and positions. The answer is Roman Classical. Number seven, the architectural design of this era depicts pointed arc, high ceiling vaults, and stone vaulting board. The answer is Gothic era. Number eight, the court of Empress Theodora Mosaic is an example of artwork from this period. The answer is Byzantine. Number nine, Venus of Wallendorf and Venus of Visampoi is a sculpture that exists from this era. The answer is prehistoric era. And number 10, the Last Judgment of the West Portal Cathedral of St. Lazare is an example of a sculpture from what era? The answer is Romanesque era. Sit B. Choose the best answer and write the letter only on your answer sheet. Number one. It is a method of painting water-based pigments on a freshly applied plaster, usually on wall surfaces. A. Acrylic B. Encaustic C. Fresco D. Trampoline The answer is letter C. Fresco Number 2. It is a method of applying pigments mixed with these wax and fixed with heat after its application. A. Acrylic B. Encaustic C. Fresco B. Trampoloy The answer is B. Encaustic Number 3 an art process where you create an image using an assemblage of small pieces of colored glass, stones, or other materials is called block. A collage, B mosaic, C stained glass, D trampoline. The answer is 
letter B, mosaic. Number four, a stone coffin, often inscribed or decorated with sculpture, is rock. A. Megaleths, B. Pyramid, C. Sarcophagus, D. Tomb. The answer is letter C. Sarcophagus. Number five, it is a colored glass used to form decorative or pictorial designs. A. Collage, B. Encoustic, C. Mosaic, D. Stained glass. The answer is letter D. Stained glass. O ano mga kamapilya? Lubos niyo bang naunawaan ang ating aralin ngayon? Kung kayo ay may natutunan, don't forget to click like in this video, share and spread learning to your friends and classmates. And of course, just subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Hanggang sa susunod mga kamapilya, happy learning!